Welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the function node. Function node is extremely powerful as it allows you to incorporate JavaScript into your flows. Let's begin by building a simple flow that uses the OpenAI package. We will use it as a foundation to utilize the function node. Let's begin by inserting an inject node into our flow and renaming it to start as usual. Next, we will connect the inject node to an OpenAI connect node, which utilizes our OpenAI API keys or RoboMotion AI credits for the OpenAI service. Finally, we will add a create chat completion node. Next, we will add a message box to our flow to display the content returned from OpenAI. We will start with a straightforward prompt, such as, tell me a joke. At this point, we are uncertain about the specific response that the OpenAI node will generate. To manage this uncertainty and ensure we correctly capture and utilize the return data, we will add a debug node to our flow. This will allow us to observe the output and will enable us to adjust our message box node setup as needed. For the connect node, we will use RoboMotion AI credits as they are easier to set up than using OpenAI API keys. To ensure the message box functions correctly, it is necessary to connect our robot from our local machine and use a local run. The message box node displays text in a pop-up dialog, which requires direct access to the local desktop environment. Let's run our flow. The message box did not display any useful content because the input properties of the node were not configured. To resolve this, we should first examine the response returned by the OpenAI node, since this holds the data we want to display. Understanding the structure and content of this response will allow us to accurately set up the input properties of the message box node. Let's start with our message box title and use joke of the day. For the text part, we will use the message object that holds the return data from OpenAI. Message object is no more than a JSON object that is passed between the flow nodes. Let's try to get the correct JSON path here from the debug output and fill the text content from the returned response. Here you can see the completion inside the message object. Click OK to use this JSON path, and then let's run our flow again. This time we should see the returned content. Our response is returned, which we then displayed in the message box. So our JSON path for the content is also correct. Now what if we want to create a dynamic prompt within the flow? So initially, we used a static string here that reads, tell me a joke. But what if you wanted to use prompts like, tell me a joke about bicycles or tell me a joke about food? We can't update our flow every time we ask for a different joke. To achieve this flexibility in our prompts, we can utilize the function node. Let's start by adding a function node to our flow and connect its output to the create chat completion node. This setup allows us to dynamically generate prompts based on various conditions or inputs with some simple JavaScript code. When you double click on the function node, it will open the JavaScript editor where you can write custom scripts. This is for simple scripts using pure JavaScript. It does not support libraries or complex code structures. The function node must always return the message object. Otherwise it will throw an exception. This object is passed here for modification or use. Within the message object, we can create a prompt field and assign it the string value, tell me a joke about foods. This value will then be passed to the next node via the message object. Let's save and close the function editor and move on to the create chat completion node properties. Now that the message object contains our prompt, which has been passed from the function node to the create chat completion node, we can use it to dynamically set our prompt property. Currently, the prompt is a custom string. 
Now, if we want to retrieve the value from our message object, clicking this button will open a list of possible sources from which we can take the value. Select the message option. Enter the field name that we have added to the message object, prompt, and rerun the flow. As you can see, the joke returned is about foods, as specified in our prompt. We have created a prompt in a function node, passed it to the create chat completion node via message object, and it returned the result. The prompt in the function node was static. We can now make our flow more dynamic by allowing users to input the joke topic in an input box. Let's choose a title for our input box to guide users more effectively. We could use something like, ask me a joke about any topic. We will enter this to the title property of the input box node. Let's choose write a topic as the label for the text field of the input box. The user's input entered will be saved into the text property of the message object. Let's put a debug node here to check the entered text. After the input box execution is completed, the debug node should display message object containing the entered value. This value will be passed to the function node, which we can then use in our prompt. We can simply perform string concatenation here by appending string values using a plus sign. Alternatively, you can use JavaScript template literals with backtick operators which allow you to embed variables directly within the string using the dollar symbol and curly braces. This can significantly improve readability, especially when constructing multi-line prompts. Let's now run our flow to see the results. This time, when the flow runs, we should see an input box waiting for a topic to be entered. Now here, let's enter cars as the topic and then press the OK button for the flow to continue. This time our joke is about cars. The first debug node outputs the message object and we can see that the text property correctly contains the entered value, cars. The function node is powerful for manipulating the message object. You can use any JavaScript code here to dynamically create and return content. Thank you for watching.